Hello everyone and welcome back to Rich's Rides and Restorations. In this video we're going to be refurbishing the rod brakes on my Rally Dawn Tourist. If you enjoy this video please do give it a like. I'm going to be using paint stripper to remove paint that's been applied to the chrome parts on these brakes. It's pretty hazardous material and I'm working in an enclosed space so that's why I'm wearing a full respirator, goggles and gloves. If you're doing this at home, please make sure you take all the proper precautions. The lack of surviving chrome on these parts, apart from the front brake stirrup, probably explains why they were painted black by a previous owner in, in the first place. Don't worry, that's just me a cat begging for attention. And now Keiko's joined in.
Where is it, Keiko? Oh, hello. Yes, good girl. Yes? Are you going to see the cat? Go see the cat. Come on. No? Okay. So, a couple of the bolts didn't really survive the de-rusting process. Um, they were pretty well rusted through. So when trying to undo them, they just sheared off. So what I'm trying to do now is I'm going to f I'm filing these down and then I'll be uh, well trying to pull out the remainder of the screw or I'll have to uh, drill them out. So I'm just going to flatten these down and uh, go from there. Yeah, it was corroded on, on both sides, so... And the screws were... Um, because they're at the bottom of the bike, um, exposed to all the elements, you know, off the grit and salt off the road and stuff, so the screws were uh, very well corroded in the middle. And, uh, yeah. So these need um, taking out. Um, maybe I'll just retap the threads with a um, I don't know an M4 or something. Depends what will fit. Um, through this hole, really. That's good. Nice to get one out. Although I suspect I may have to drill out this one. I'm not going to get much purchase on that. <laughs> So, I uh, ordered this new big pack of M3s to M6s, so we've got all different lengths, so long lengths, short lengths, and so on, washes, and that. so this should keep me going for years, to be honest. Um, and I also got a tapping set, because... I mean, these linkages, they're going to be out of sight, it's like below the bottom bracket, so it doesn't need to be 
an authentic screw. So after I drilled out the uh, previous uh, screws, I needed to re-tap these. So I've done one already that I've re-tapped. I need to re-tap that one to a... Um, hold on, let's see if I can focus on that. Come on. Yeah, I need to re-tap that one to a... Uh, it's an M4... Uh, uh, thread and then I can uh, reassemble um, everything um, I was going to go down the um, I think the boiled linseed route uh, now that I've stripped off things so everything will be you know protected uh, by the oil um, from from rust and yeah hopefully I can Start riding the bike. So I just need to retap that other hole and then I can get going. So this is the kit I've got. It's a high spec kit, so same brand as the um, punches um, and drifts that I got. So you get quite a quite a few things in here. So it's the M47 tap that I use. But yeah, you got all sorts of things, pitch gauges, dies, no screwdriver, not that I need any more screwdrivers. So yeah. And it was pretty straightforward. The oil I'm using, because it's, <laughs> it's only a couple of things, it's this clipper oil I use for well doing the haircuts. So this is for like electric clippers, so if it's if it's good enough for uh, you know cutting hair, it's going to be good for cutting steel, right? Right? <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, it has worked all right. It just needs to lubricate the thing, and it's quite you know it's thin and everything, so it gets in quite easily. So let's open this up. So it's a pretty decent case. This. So you got that, you got this plastic cover, which you don't really need. And in here you've got all the taps and dies. So these are taps. These are these are taps, these are dies, and various adjustable handles and so on. So yeah, and this is the Come on. This is the pitch gauge I use for working out what size threads you need. So I'll get you set up and I'll cut that hole. So I do one half turn, then back off a quarter.
now that I've tapped those holes, I'm going to uh, reassemble um, the linkage and just confirm uh, the, the, the right lengths I need for the uh, screws and things. So, just like that. Now I've screwed that through and then I need a nut on this side um, and I'll put a washer on. Um, do I need a washer? It's a lock nut. I'll just put a washer on anyway, I'll be fine. <laughs> I'll act as an extra barrier to prevent um, corrosion. And one of the last jobs I need to do is just tidy up these old brake blocks. They've got a bit worn and deformed, so I just need to file them uh, flat again. Okay, I'm just test fitting this back on now, see if it will uh, fit back together. And here it is, test fitted back to the bike. And with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please press like, please subscribe. Hit that bell notification icon so you know when future episodes come out. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And until next time, bye for now.